in Nederland en ik kom in Malawi sinds 2005. Sinds 2007 heb ik een small project hier voor children. Mijn naam is Linkson. Ik live in Jembe village. Ik ben van Malawi. Mijn tribe is Chichewa. Ik spreek Chichewa ook. Well. So this is means Malandridwa. This tribe means Malandridwa. In English, it's your welcome. I work here at Pe at Pezanaso playground, and the Pezanaso playground in English that word means uh, we meet again. You are welcome, and that you, we meet again. The word of Pezanaso. I grew up in the village, and I do pray, and I do pray in the in the, in the village. I, sometimes I do help my my parents fishing. Sometimes I do. Uh, Fishing myself. Uh, the children they play on the beach, fishing. But after that we do we do go to school. Uh, uh, in our class, uh, we have more than 100 people, 100, 100 people, and one one teacher in one class. The problem is in our class. In our class, the, the materials are very little. Things like the books we don't have enough uh, enough for books. It's when my friend Gerrit came and met me, tried to explain me that there are some ways where the children they can play. It's when they think to paint our playground so that. They we can pray also with other things, and the children they can get also knowledge how to uh, how to pray with other things, and they, and in, from that time the children they get used to know other things which they don't know in Chenbe village. Actually, we started uh, by showing movies for children because here you mostly find action movies with killing, fighting, and murdering. And that's not nice for children. Later, I decided to, to build a, a playground, but not just a playground. It uh, should be a center for a kind of education as well. Children don't have the possibilities here to play at home, and we give them the possibility, we bring them the possibility to do it here. Most families, they don't even have pens or a pair of scissors or those things in their house and that's what we realize now when we are working with the children. open our playground uh, half, to half 12 and when the children come one o'clock we, uh, le we let them to enter inside but we start normally we normally start with the hairs I'm a hair. the hairs are the small one 
So those when we allow them to come separate, uh, separate because we avoid to we avoid to end all of them to allow all of them to come inside. Otherwise, they can fight each other. So we need only the same size to be in, in one time in, in the playground. After monkeys, we use uh, lions, and after lions, we use uh, elephant, elephant, giraffe. This is the last age which we need in our playground. <laughs> and in Dutch? In Dutch, it better giraffe. And in English? And in giraffe, for sure. And also when the children enter inside, we also teach them how, how to wash their hands here with the soap and after that then they clean their hands with the towel. Uh, we try to bring them some education in different ways, so to, to play together, to have a social behavior and what is the important thing for us is keep your place clean. We tell them this is your place so you have to take care for your place yourself. If you spoil it, it's spoiled for yourself. So be careful with the things you've got. Okay. Children are very happy to play with those so-called Monty uh, bricks. It's plastic toys like Lego. Uh, they are learning a lot, making things, and it's yeah. My idea is it's very educational. One succeeded already to make this. In Holland, it was well known before Lego came, and there are still there is still a lot on ethics to find. So when someone has Monty bricks and they want to donate them, please contact us via Jmail. When those Monty bricks are donated to our project Tipis and Anso in Malawi, we will take care that they come, that they will arrive in uh, Chembe village where our pro project is. And you will see they will be brought directly to our playground. One or two weeks we will start a small program with uh, telling the children try to keep your village clean like you were keeping your playground clean. And this is the way to grow to the result that they will realize if you keep something clean it's nicer for yourself and for your family and for your kids as well. They just bring the table from the carpenter to the playground, but we have to wait because there are more tables and more chairs. So we've got other things to get there from there as well. I think we can do a lot of those things for the village in this way. And for me, it's a very special feeling children have to play when they are young.